Darren, your last fight was an interesting situation. Can you describe how it worked being on loan to Cage Warriors for one fight? Every fight I had an interesting situation. Um, yeah, well, it was crazy, you know, because I'm used to the UFC now. So going back to a show I used to fight on, and then on top of that, fighting a day quicker than normal, change of opponent, corona this, corona that. Yeah, it, it, was, it was madness. It was a madness. I mean, I guess uh, you, you fought for Cage Warriors before, so it's not like it was brand new, but just, I guess, the negotiations, like, how did they even bring it up to you? Were they just like, hey, if you want to fight, this is what we can do? And I guess just the, uh, yeah, the I, work. I don't have a clue in that situation. My manager said, look, I've still got to fight on, because at the end of the day, I need the money, you know? Like, I don't work. So it was, a, it was a thing where I just take it and just fight, get my money, provide for my family. And good job I did, because we had like three months off and not doing nothing. So I couldn't afford that. We're obviously interested to see some of the fighters from the UK, and we're wondering about the travel situation, guys like Leon Edwards and all that. Being from there, can you describe the travel situation and just how hard or not is it to get to the US for fights? Uh, it wasn't hard at all. My manager got a waiver signed, um, which allowed him to fly to the, um, uh, the States. But the travels, madness. Um, I don't know if it's because of the whole corona situation, but we have to do connecting flights and nine hours this, and you've got to watch where you step, and you can't be close to that person. And you've got to wear your mask at all time, and I can't breathe in these things. Even though I'm a dentist, it's mad. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just all nonsense. But yeah, it's crazy. I mean, but getting to the US, uh, not a problem. Because like, I got the waiver signed to so say I can fly, and that was it. Bam. Got it. Final question, moving back to Pitolo. Uh, what does he bring to the table that makes him a dangerous opponent? Uh, what does he bring to the table that makes him a dangerous opponent? Nothing really. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know. I don't give a damn. I'm going to go in and do me. I'm not worried about what he does, what he brings to the table. So. So do you see this one ending quick for you? Uh, that's it ending quick. Yeah, and then quit first round, second round, first round. I'm just, I'm just gonna go out there and just do me and just put the pressure on him like mad. He's, I feel like he hasn't fought no one like me. I've been in wars, bro. Just look at my face. I've got, like, I've been in war. I've been for everything. Everything you can name, I've been through it. I don't know him that well. I don't know his record. I don't know too much about him, but I don't feel like he's been through wars. I mean, the last fight he had, I think, it was against Charles Bird, and um, Charles Bird was tied that fight. I don't know, um, and he beat Charles Bird. Couple straps on the floor, one, two, three, four, whatever. Ref jumped in. I beat Charles Bird one elbow, done. So, is what it is. Looking forward to it still. I'm gonna go and bring the smoke. Hey, appreciate it, Darren. We'll go next to uh, Bryson Hester. Your line is open. Uh, Darren, um, you're you're looking real good for this fight and i know it was only on a few weeks notice uh who have you been working with to get ready for this uh camp i've been working with everyone undercover i'm not gonna say too much names because during lockdown I should have been training but i've been doing my thing you know what i mean i'm still here looking like a snack as they call it in the uk it's been beautiful so matter of fact all it was to do is just get my weight down i've been training you know, i've been putting the work in from when the lockdown started i think after my last fight, i had a week off I was forced to because I don't like to have time off. I had a week off and I've just been training, Zoom, uh, working my conditioning coach, McFarland training system, um, doing Zoom calls, home workouts. Then when it got a bit easy, he started doing the jogging. I've been working, then things got a bit easy. I started grappling the park, you know, grappling the park where I'm around my area on the grass, no mats, no nothing, hardcore stuff. Like, no, no one's stopping me. No one's stopping me. And um, with, with the pandemic and whatnot, if you if you get a win, you come out relatively unscathed on Saturday. Uh, how how soon are you looking to get back in the mix? And do you think it'll be an issue to 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 like whether you want to go back to Britain and then come back and try and fight? Do you think that could potentially be an issue? Or um, if it goes really well, I'm trying to go straight away. I'm not messing about. I already told my missus before this fight. Yeah, pick one. I'm staying out here. I'm going again because. I've been funny. All the, all, um, most of the American lot have been milking it. They've been getting the money in. And I know, you see now during this pandemic here, right? We can say, yeah, we want to win this record, this record, that. No, it's about making your money because there's going to be another wave coming and you can't do it at all. 
and some of the Americans are just been milking it. And I'm just sitting in the UK, like in my home, doing a couple of bicep curls, thinking, when am I going to fight as well? Do you know what I mean? I didn't get a call like to go to Abu, um, Abu Dhabi and all that stuff to fight. So I told my missus before before I ever come out here, I'm staying over there. Like if it goes well, that's it. No arguments. Like I need to milk it in. Now it's about putting on the show, be entertaining, get your money up.